HDMI to HDMI converter. So you can see you've got the loop out and the SDI input and the HDMI input on this side. We've got USB for power and firmware updating. We've got a lighting system here, so this will give you an indication of what's happened. So you've got your test pattern generator in here with audio. 3-2 pull down removal as well. And I believe if we press these together it makes a torch, but it's very bright so I won't do it because I've been blinded already by it. <laughs> so basically they've got a shoe here so you can adjust, uh, attach this to any Sony MP battery supplier. So you can attach them to the back of the Ninja to give SDI input or you can attach to the back of the Samurai to give HDMI input depending on the one that you buy. It's got a two hour power, power source within it and the internal battery but you can also add additional batteries as well to give it more life. In this mode you'll get about 12 hours with this battery on the top. So to power it on it's really quick and it's, it's readily available very fast. This is where I have a plate lit up. You can stack them and you can have multiple ones together. Um, let's see what else we've got on here. It's just a really handy tool. It's small and it's light and it just fits on anything. We've used it before with, um, we had a light on the back which ran out of power. So we quickly stuck this in the back and we had the lighting back so we could carry on the shooting. Which was really handy to have. So the battery on top will charge it down here so it will charge the internal battery with it. Or you can do it by the internet and the USB. That's it. The price on these ones is about 349.